didn't see no preparedness at all. I mean, they, as soon as they heard that gunshot, they should have rushed in. After law enforcement leaders revealed the man behind the deadly mass shooting at the elementary school in Uvalde barricaded himself for up to an hour inside a classroom. Some members of the community are criticizing the response time. CBS Austin's Christian Flores is in Uvalde where he's breaking down that timeline and explaining why it took this amount of time or for so long for the officers to breach the shooter's barricade. There have been so much backlash over how long it took police officers to get into the classroom where the shooter was barricaded that law enforcement leaders had to call a press conference earlier this afternoon to clear some things up. They did, however, have to backtrack a major point that officials have been making the past few days over how the shooter was confronted by a police officer before entering the school. It was reported that a school district police officer confronted the suspect that was making entry. Not accurate. He walked in unrestructed. A shocking revelation as law enforcement officials had to walk back this key point about how the shooter who killed 19 children and two teachers began his massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde earlier this week. After receiving heat from the community over what they feel was a slow response, a press conference was called just a day after a prior one. Here, they reiterated officers entered the school four minutes after the shooting began. They hear gunfire, they take rounds. They move back, get cover, and during that time, they approach. It took two days for this memorial to go up outside the school, but residents have taken umbrage with a smaller time frame, 40 minutes to an hour. That's how long officials say the shooter barricaded himself in the classroom with his would-be victims. Officers are there, the initial officers, they receive gunfire. They don't make entry initially because of the gunfire they're receiving, but we have officers calling for additional resources. At 11.40 a.m., the shooter walked into Robb Elementary with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. At 1.06 p.m., the Uvalde Police Department announces the shooter is in custody, killed by responding officers. Former law enforcement agent Scott Stewart says it may have taken this long to breach the shooter's barricade because they couldn't risk hurting innocent bystanders. You just can't shoot randomly into the classroom, right, trying to take the guy out because you don't want to hurt anybody on the inside. Stewart also points out the school's doors may have been tough to breach by design in the event teachers have to lock their doors during a mass shooting event. In this case, it looks like those safeguards were actually turned against law enforcement by the intruder. An ongoing investigation, not only are detectives still working to get to the bottom of the motive for the shooter, but they're also examining their own response. Reporting live in Uvalde, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.